Welcome Hi. to the uh, Odoo Hello. live chatbot talk at Odoo Experience. My name is Ray Carnes. I've been working with uh, Odoo as a company for four and a half years, but I've been working with the technology for 11, and I'm joined by my colleague Nicoletta Tristan, who manages our live chat team. Hello, nice to meet you. Very excited to be here and uh, share our new fu uh, fun feature. And a little known secret that um, Odoo has a 100% fully remote team. You're looking at the team here. So I'm fully remote in my office in Los Angeles. I'm fully remote somewhere in an undisclosed tropical uh, place. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So I thought that we would um, take the easy way out with this talk and we would actually let the chatbot take over. So what I'm going to do is just click this little button here on the website and see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? Oh my goodness, you clicked. All day I waited for something to do. Thank you. Are you seeing cool things at OXP? I hope so. Can we have a quick chat? Option one, no, I prefer a live operator. Option two, sure. What do you think? Option one, option two. Sure? Two. Option two, let's do it. I'll click over here. Let's see what magic happens now. So the first thing to know, I'm following a script. Everything I type, all the questions I ask are scripted. Does that make sense? What do you think? Absolutely, or you need a little bit more of an explanation? I think I need a little bit more of an explanation more. about that. More. This is a script. Okay, so over here on the left-hand side, we have a tab with a bunch of messages. So this is really just what we saw. Oh my goodness, you clicked. All day I waited for something to do. So you can see how the left-hand side here, these are the messages part of the script. And then over here, it looks like we have step types. So I guess the first five or the first four were just text steps. And then we had two questions. We had the can we have a quick chat question, and we had the make sense question. So I think I know what a script is now. What do you think? Do you know what a script is? Yes. OK, it makes sense. The next thing to know, each script is a list of steps. I think we know that. I follow each step in order. I got it one after the other, just like footprints, until I reach the end. Ready for more? Yes. Yes. This is fun. So each step in a script can direct me to do different things. You have seen me do two different things. What are they? Type something, ask something. All right, everyone's caught up? We're not going too fast? Good. But I am a smart chatbot. I can do more things. Things that really help you. Ready for more? Let's see it. Let's okay, see it. Okay, let's do it. I'm ready. These are the things I can do. Wow. Okay, we support six step types. The first two we've seen, the text, something the chatbot types. The question, something the chatbot asks. The third one is email. The chatbot can ask for your email address. The next one is phone. The chatbot can request a phone number. Then we have forward to operator, connect to a human. Right. 
One of the things I don't like about live chat on other people's websites is I can never make it to a real human being. So as soon as I get frustrated with the bot and the bot doesn't understand me, I feel like I have to just leave. So this is a feature that we're really proud of. And then the last one is free input. Just ask for information. Okay, that's certainly nice. So now we're going to learn about each step type. The text step, I type anything you tell me. The question step, and here's the question. What do you want to do next? Visit, contact us. Mm, it looks like we can maybe be taken to web pages. But I want to keep learning. How about you? I actually wanted a lead, but if you insist. You want a lead? Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> Nicoletta is the lead harvester at Odoo. <laughs> I can ask for an email address, email step. Can you tell me your email? I like this part. No, it does not look like a valid email. Can you please try again? OK, <laughs> so here's my email address in case any of you have any questions. Ray at odoo.com. Thanks for that. I can ask for a phone number. Phone step. We're getting personal. What's <laughs> yours? Let's see if I can trick this bot. I won't sell your phone number, I promise. See, it's not <laughs> so smart after all. I can ask for any kind of information. Free input step. What do you think so far? What do you guys think so far? What do you think so far, Nicoletta? I mean, talk about saving time, energy, and staff. Saving. Really uh, uh, exciting, also worrying, but I think uh, we're on to something here. Although this bot is a little flirty. <laughs> I think we are on to something. We are definitely on to something. Here. I know, right? <laughs> Are you ready to learn what controls when each step runs? Let's see how the magic is done. I sure am. I feel like I'm getting a, a glimpse behind the curtain here. This is how I know when to complete each step. So again, if we move over to the left-hand side of the screen, the only if field so steps run only if a specific answer is chosen. So you've seen as we go through the script, I've been choosing certain answers at each point to each question. So here, the message, would you like to be directed to a web page? This is a question step, and it's only executed by the bot if I answer, OK, let's do it, I am ready, to a previous question. So this is how the chatbot is able to branch out, kind of like a, a, a multi-choice conversation where you can control which pathway you take at each point. And you can see that um, the first answer to this question is, I can visit contact us. And the second answer is, I can keep learning. So the only if field is really where all the magic happens in the chatbot. Make sense? The cool part is that there's no coding and no funky filtering or advanced filtering, so you control the narrative. That's right. So combine steps in any way you want, and I can do more, still more. I can change the page you are on. You've already seen this. But how does it work? Sure. Each question can optionally send your visitor to a page. So you can always <laughs> help them get to the right place. So, are you ready for the chatbot invasion? So we have three options here. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Sign me up or I'm a chicken. 
Sign me up. Sign me up. What could possibly go wrong? I'm going to be a chicken. <laughs> it's a purple chicken. So there's our purple chicken. <laughs> and there's our chatbot saying, thanks for playing. Have a great time in Brussels. <laughs> so I wanted to show you one more thing. These chatbots got together and they talked about all the different ways that they could take over a website. So the first chatbot in our page is the after hours bot. So when you will go home from work, your chatbot can keep working, can keep helping people on your website, find information, maybe generate leads, as Nicoletta was mentioning. The appointment bot, maybe can ask your website visitors if they want to book an appointment with your company and can take them to the page where they can schedule that. Maybe they can ask, do you need an appointment with someone in sales? Do you need an appointment with someone in partner onboarding? The blog bot. Maybe you're reading, your website vis visitor is reading one of your blogs and the chat bot can pop up and say, hey, are you interested in this content? You know, this blog is about accounting. Do you want to look at our accounting app? And the event bot. Maybe someone's on a page about Odoo Experience and the chat bot pops up and says, hey, do you want to get a ticket? The feature bot. Maybe you have a page with all of the features of your software and the bot pops up and says, do you want to start a trial to try these features out? And then there's the job bot. When you're browsing on a page that has a list of different jobs, if you were in the auditorium this morning, you would have seen Fabian show the job bot asking, what kind of thing do you like to do? Do you like to, do you like to sell? Do you like to support? Do you like to train? And it can send you to the right page for the right job. Then we have the lead bot. Look how many dollar signs are on this lead bot, Nicoletta. <laughs> That's the uh, most exciting one for me, I must admit. So one of the things that Odoo does is uses live chat with a team of 70, 70 part-time people all around the world in shifts, answering questions on the, web tri on the website to generate interest in, um, to, to determine the interest in Odoo and whether we need to generate a lead. And then there's the partner bot. Maybe someone's looking at the partner page to see what it would be like to become a partner. The bot can pop up and say, hey, are you ready to talk to someone on our partner recruiter team? Then we have our release bot. The release bot talking about the brand new release, trying to get people excited about Odoo 16. Do, does anyone happen to be excited about Odoo 16, by the way? <laughs> awesome. And then we have our survey bot. A survey bot can offer to take to someone to a survey page True. to ask very detailed questions to get feedback about something. And then our last two, we have a ticket bot. You saw with that free information field that I can literally ask people any information that I want. So if someone has a problem, I can capture all of that information in the free input. I can ask for their enterprise contract number. I can ask for their email. I can ask for their phone number. I have all of that information. And then finally, we have our welcome bot, which is the OG bot that started it all. This is the bot that ships with Odoo 16. This is the one you should try out when you go try Odoo 16. So Nicoletta, what do you think of the Odoo bot? At first, I must admit I was a bit threatened, you know, because we take pride in the fact that we don't have bots, that we have real people talking to our visitors, and this is something that our competitors don't really have. But I really love the idea of having a compliment to our team. So whenever we are resting, the other bot is working. So I'm really excited about the fact that it's going to be integrated with help this events, HR. So HR is in the room. You can now chat to potential uh, applicants. So I'm very excited about the fact that it's kind of be you know, part of the live chat team, basically and uh, help us be present for our visitors 24 hours a day. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a great part of Odoo. And, and like everything in Odoo, nothing's designed to replace people. It's designed to make people more effective. And I think it's a great way to scale your live chat team with the help of a bot that maybe asks the first few questions that you're asking every single visitor. What brings you to our website today? Do you have the need for technical support? Do you have a pricing question? Are you interested in becoming a customer? Are you just looking around? Do you want to talk to a live operator? Sure. So thank you so much for your time today. 
Thank you for coming to OXP. And if anyone has any questions, please let us know. Hey, thanks so much, Ray. Thanks so much, Nicoletta. Do we have... We have someone with a question. Okay, go for it. No questions. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you for the talk, Ray. And I would like to ask, uh, how is it with AI integrated into the chatbot? Is there something like uh, that when the chatbot collects the initial information, it can reroute the chat to the right operator? Let me give you an example. We have a sales team. Someone is focusing on B2B, someone on B2C. And I figure out that uh, I have a B2C client, so I want to transfer that client for a specific operator who takes care of B2C. So is this possible, or we can be looking forward to it in version 17, or what's the status? Thanks. So it's a great question. Version 16 is when the Odoo bot makes, the, makes their debut. I don't think we're going to call it a him or a her. There are options around it. Yeah, the, the things that you talk about are things that our live operators can do. So the chat bot can show up on a specific page and can talk people through a script. And when they eventually get to a live operator, what the live operator can do is can see the pages that the visitor has been on can see the whole conversation they've had with the bot, and can take actions there, like creating a ticket or creating a lead. So we haven't taught the bot everything yet. We're just going to kind of see how well they do. And I think that we'll see, like everything in Odoo, every time we have a new release, we sneak a little bit more functionality in there. A cool feature that we have in the Discuss app, there's an invite button feature so you can basically invite anybody in your team in case it's not for you so somebody else can take over the conversation if that's what uh, your team needs yeah the example that uh, happens to me all the time is because i don't speak french or spanish or pretty much anything other than english anytime there's someone who wants to have a conversation in another language i ping nicoletta i say are you available and then i invite her to join the chat so i have the way a way to hand off one chat to a to another operator Yes, we have another question here. So, right, thank you as well. I have a question. One part you did not really show is, what does the Odoo bot do with the data it receives? Does it create a new record, or does it show somewhere else? That seems important. Yeah. And based on that, a follow-up question is, is it usable only towards public users as a first contact point, and can it, or can it work with portal users and somehow relate to the data they have in the system? That's a great question. So this is the back end now of Odoo. This is not the front end anymore. And this is what we call a channel. You can have as many channels as you want to organize the kind of interaction that you have. You might have a, a website channel. You might have a partner channel. You might have a sales channel. So if I open up a channel here, you can see that operators can join each channel. So when we have shifts of people working around the world, we know that we, we like to have two people because it can get really busy. So those are the internal users that can um, join a channel. If someone is logged into the website, either as a full user or a portal user, the chat bot and the live operator can see that, as opposed to anonymous. Or if we can detect the country, we'll tell you the country the person is from. And then you ask about all of the information. So have a look in here at the sessions. These are all of the sessions that the chatbot has completed. These are how many messages each chatbot interaction has. So everything that the chatbot typed and everything that the visitor typed is stored here. This is a, this is a um, record that you can go and filter, you can export, you can analyze. There's also other things that at the end of a message, you get a, a three smiley face choice question. Did the chatbot help you today? Did the live operator help you today? So you get feedback on, on that as well. And then within a session, when you open up a session, you can actually, oh, you can actually discover a bug. When you, when you open up a live chat session, you can see the history of all of the pages that the visitor has gone to. So we try as hard as we can to capture everything that's happening with the bot for later because if you are using the 24-7 the bot, when you come in in the morning, you want to know exactly what happened while you're asleep. I understand the bot cannot, for example, create a lead with the information it receives. It can just point to the website where the user can do that, but on its own, it just stores the value in a separate model. Yes, on its own with our customization, that's exactly what it does. But like anything in Odoo, we have a customization <laughs> framework and we have the code that you can change if you wanted it to do things like that. 
an automated right. action might be enough, exactly, because you these are just records in Odoo, so you can detect the keywords and you can, yeah. You can already, yeah, customize okay. it. We but have time. if you insist, you can do it manually. You can create a help desk ticket or a lead already, but yeah, <laughs> automated action, yep. Do we have one more question? I think we have time for one more, yes. Um, I would like to ask about the, the tracking of the user. Uh, does the user accept that kind of tracking? If, mostly if it is done with a cookie. So, because all his answers are going to be recorded, and also the pages he visits, then I think that has some impact in privacy and GDPR and all that stuff. Yeah, it's a good question. I may have to get back to you on exactly what we disclose. I, we don't have um, an individual IP address. We use a country, you know, lookup. So really all we know about the visitor is what they tell us, what they're disclosing to us, and which country they come from. But if you email me to remind me to look into um, more into your question, I can get you a better answer. For now, okay. you could just have it part of your questions. Do you consent to this conversation? So it could be one of your questions that you uh, adapt, especially if you're in Europe. It's an issue that uh, it can be easily, the workaround is like, do you consent to continue this conversation? Meaning you would offer us some information that is private. All of so, your answers will be stored. You know, we could do that. That's a great workaround. Yeah, just okay. ask the question. <laughs> thank you. So again, thank you. If you want to come and find me anytime during the rest of Odo Experience, I will give you a chatbot sticker, okay? <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Nicoletta. Thank you, Ray. We should take